Ladies and gentlemen, my advice. You can obviously do distributed property. Um, so you guys can easily do a distributed property. However, whenever you're multiplying a monomial times a polynomial or a binomial times a binomial, trinomial times a trinomial, I still prefer to have everything grouped and organized and think of them as an area. So you guys can see here, you also have some binomials, right, and all that kind of stuff. So obviously when you guys get more and more practice, you know, obviously you can start doing this stuff faster and faster. But I still believe that you know, one of the best ways to understand multiplication is to look at the area. So you can treat 4x squared as one side and um, the trinomial as the other side of a rectangle. Therefore, if you break it up, <coughs> break the rectangle up, therefore you can see there's three little boxes and all we need to do to find the area. Remember, area is just going to be length times width. So 4x squared times 3x squared. Well, again, we multiply the 4 and the 3 and the x squared times x squared. Remember, you add the powers. So therefore, that's 12x to the 4th. This becomes negative 20x cubed. And then this becomes 36x uh, squared. And the reason why I like this is just everything's kind of organized into its own box. So therefore, it's very simple to, it's very easy not to get everything confused as you can just write out your answer. All right.